Hey y'all, what's going on? I am back with a hair video. We're chit-chatting about hair today because I've started doing something that I've briefly talked about on Instagram, but you all have been literally like taking it on and taking it to a whole new place. What am I talking about? I'm talking about my hashtag naked hair movement. So I'm coming to y'all today with literally naked hair. There is nothing in my hair right now at all. I washed it earlier today. It's Texas, it's summer, it's hot outside so my hair dries so quick in the summertime and so that's how we are already here okay we're already here so i started doing these hashtag naked hair posts right so i had posted that photo a few weeks ago and then i asked y'all to share your naked hair posts because I felt like it was something that we should all be doing because at the end of the day I realized that going product free every so often whether it be like an afternoon or for a couple days whatever um, helped me actually understand like where my hair was at so when I was in that rut a couple years ago part of it was I felt like none of my products were working I felt like the wash and goes that I was doing were just not looking right you know what i mean like you know how when you've been using products for a minute and then all of a sudden you look at your hair one day and you're like this doesn't look as good as i thought it did <laughs> like or it, something is different like i don't know if my hair is like getting longer and getting weighed down or if i'm just getting like sick of seeing my hair like this i don't know what it is and so that was part of my journey even going like coconut oil free um which i've talked lots about um with removing coconut oil from my hair product regimen i started going coconut oil free for various reasons and then that kind of led me to this whole naked hair thing and so i started realizing that when i was not using coconut oil in my hair anymore. My hair, when it had nothing in it, was more defined, softer, shinier, and just my curl pattern was better. And so that was one of the biggest reasons I actually removed coconut oil from my regimen, but it was going naked, which helped me even notice that maybe the coconut oil was the culprit of some of my hair struggles okay and so i've been reposting so many of you sharing your naked hair pictures and posts on instagram and i've been loving it because i don't think i've ever seen as many women just flaunt their natural texture without manipulation ever like that's it's never been a thing for us to just go out without anything in our hair like we say wash and go but really a wash and go ain't really a wash and go but truly having a naked hair moment is a true wash and go like you are washing your hair and that's it you are not putting anything in it and granted you may not feel comfortable leaving the house like that which listen sis you know you <laughs> you determine that okay but even if you're in the house all day why do you need products in your hair like see what your hair is telling you because some of the things that i think we overlook sometimes is the fact that we use a lot of hair products especially as naturally curly girls kinky hair textured hair like we're always using some sort of cream moisturizer or oils or something. And I started thinking about it. Like, why is it that I even need these things? You know what I mean? Like, granted, products should help, you know, build up the strength of my hair and make my hair more manageable and make my hair, you know, look great when it's styled. But what about its overall health? Like, what ingredients and what products are actually helping my hair maintain its good health versus what are those products that make my hair look great while styled but actually over time dry my hair out because I'm blocking out all moisture from the atmosphere or I'm not getting the moisture that I need because I'm only using products that make my hair look healthy versus actually having my hair be healthy. Those are two different things. So, I started going naked um, 
And I have really been loving it. Like, it's done something for me. And I don't know what it is, but it's been kind of like a new sense of freedom and a new kind of interesting journey that I'm going on with my hair because I've never ever been this confident about wearing my hair without anything in it and being surprised with what my hair does and being able to literally see a difference between what my hair looked like six months ago versus what my hair looks like today and knowing exactly what products have worked and what products have really like made a difference in my hair it's almost like i've hit a new level of self-acceptance and self like love because i'm embracing myself in a way that you know two years ago three years ago four years ago ten years ago i would have never felt confident to like go out in public with my hair without any products in it like i literally just wouldn't and so I'm excited to see more of you posting your naked hair photos because I think that it's going to really start to show you that the products are not end all be all. You know what I mean? Like your products are not going to be the magic pill to get you to love your hair. There's no particular hairstyle or wig or whatever hair color that's going to fix that little voice in you that feels like you can't be your best without your hair done. That you can't love what you look like unless your hair's done. And that used to be me. I used to really be like, I feel my best when my hair is done, my makeup is done, and you know, all put together, right? But I've started to really want to go in a different direction. Like I don't wanna be in a space where I feel like my love for self is conditional. I wanna be able to feel confident and happy about myself whether my hair is done or not. And especially during these times where salons have been closed and even as things start opening up, you know, we're not, at least, hey, some people may be running to the salon and I'm not hating if you are because sis, get your hair done if you need to, okay? I understand, you need your pamper time, I get it. I love a good salon visit, believe me. I love being in that shampoo bar and somebody just like, rubbing my scalp like that is just uh it's like the best but i think we have to look at the time that we're in and look at the positives and look at the new opportunities we are having to discover ourselves and discover what we believe is beautiful not what society tells us and recognizing where are we believing society over what we truly think within ourselves or have we even given ourselves the opportunity to decide like do you like the way your hair is not is it popular? Is it in trend? Do you see your hair in marketing ads? No, none of that. Do you love your hair without anything in it, without any help? Do you love your hair? I think that that is a starting point for exploring even other aspects of ourselves that maybe we feel like we need to button up or prep before being able to love. and. So yeah, I've just been loving kind of like what this naked hair feeling and movement has been doing for me and my spirit. And so I'm just loving the fact that you all are down for the cause too. So definitely continue sharing your photos on Instagram. Send me your emails, your DMs, whatever I, I've been reposting. So if you want to see some really, really bomb examples of naked hair, go check out the highlight on my Instagram page because there have been so many different beautiful women showing their hair textures from wavy to super super duper curly to 4C to just everything in between. And it's been such a joy to see all of you embrace your natural in your own way. And so I'm just so excited to continue seeing you promote your naked hair. And if you haven't done it yet, 
take some time to try it out. You know, next time you are deep conditioning on a Sunday afternoon or a random Tuesday afternoon and you're done with your Zoom meetings for the day. See what your hair is telling you without any products in it and then see how you feel. It might feel a little weird at first, but if you keep doing it and really take it in, I think it'll do something really good for your spirit. Okay, y'all, that's all I got. I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.